What's up guys? Jay Joseph here and today we're going to be reviewing the Stray Logan's Puff. I get hella busy. I get hella, I get hella busy. I get hella, I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella, I get hella busy. I get hella, I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella busy. I get hella busy on beats, always busy on these streets, writing raps in a whip, like red light, green light, this bitch a hit, pin that nigga since a nigga couldn't say that shit, oh shit, shit. I'm on billboards, blogs for all these goddamn songs, but how this day been long, and how this world hit hard like Antonio talk. So I want to give you guys a fair idea of how fat the tongue is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to loosen up the shoe, because I had to tie these shoes really tight, and we'll get into why I had to do that. So as you guys can see here, this is a fatter tongue and the tongue is made of mesh, has a lot of padding in it. So it makes it super duper comfortable for the top of your feet. The Stray Logan Puff, um, this one features an all suede upper with only leather on the flame logo here and mesh on the tongue. Um, the leather on the side for the flames is actually stitched with only a single stitching, but it actually is in a really good spot because of how high the foxing tape is. You don't really hit the flames too often unless your ollie area is just in this exact spot. Your ollie area should be actually protected by this rubber piece here, the ollie pad. And for me, the ollie pad was actually very helpful. I didn't put a hole here, but I just definitely hitting the ollie pad the entire time skating this shoe, which makes it very functional. Because of the high foxing tape, I found a lot of grip in my tricks. The flick of my kickflips were very uh, consistent once I got used to how high the foxing tape is in the shape of the toe. And I actually didn't have a problem with too many of my flip tricks. I will say that it was an adjustment period from skating another shoe to coming to this shoe with such a high foxing tape because I believe that the strays and maybe the, um, the lost, not lost cause shoes, the strays and the last resort shoes are the only shoes I could think of with this high of a foxing tape and a few pairs of Vans, but no other shoes in the market that I know of have this high of a foxing tape. And I will say that the high foxing tape is kind of a cool thing that Stray has and I think it's a staple for all their skate shoes. The insole that they use is the acid drop insole here. It's a nice layer of like foam that I would say is actually pretty decent for your skate shoes. After a while, of course, you will start to feel the impact, but I will say that for a standard insole, the acid drop insole is really, really good. Um, I find that for how thin this shoe is, the acid drop insole is a good pairing, and it does have like a little layer of like foam to add to the impact protection, but most of your impact protection is coming from this pretty thick insole. And I would say that if other companies were to check out something similar to the acid drop, they would probably have a little bit more impact resistant shoes. The sole here is like this triangle tread sole. It actually is pretty grippy. It lasts decently long. I've had strays before that featured the same outsole. I like it a lot. It's comfortable, it's cool. And I definitely think that you guys should uh, check it out if you like a shoe that's minimalistic with high foxing tape and a cool look with extra grip. Now, I think that this shoe is a pretty decently durable skate shoe for a vulcanized shoe. But the issue I had with this shoe and I've had it with another pair of strays in the past, is that with this high foxing tape and this upper being so like easy to move around and easy to break in, it does cause your foxing tape to slightly separate from the upper of the shoe. Now you could easily fix that with shoe goo, but I personally do not like using shoe goo. It just looks kind of ugly for me. Although I wouldn't have to use a lot of shoe goo to keep the shoe together. It's not like the shoe is gonna just straight separate and the upper is just gonna fly off of my shoe, but I don't like seeing those openings when I do like bend the shoe like off the side here and over here and stuff like that. So with that being said, I would say that's a piece of caution that you're gonna have to look out for. With such high foxing tape, it will possibly cause your foxing tape to separate a little bit from the upper as you break down the shoe. Overall, I thought the shoe was really cool. I skated it for a while um, during Vlogmas, got a couple of really cool tricks. I found a lot of comfort in the shoe and I didn't have to adjust too much of my skateboarding to match how I was skating in this shoe. Overall, it's a dope shoe to grab. I think personally that the Stray Logan Puff for 85 is kind of up there. I think if this shoe is more like $75, I'd like vibe it a little bit better, but you are paying for that puff, which is adding a little bit of extra comfort and stuff like that. I also did find that I need to tie my foot down a little bit like harder in the shoe. Like I had to kind of choke him out 
on this side to keep my foot nice and secure in here. There's no tongue centering straps, so that's something to look out for as well. But if you don't really care for tongue centering straps, like you don't need them, and you want a simplistic, cool looking shoe, the Straight Logan Puff is actually a really dope shoe to grab. If you guys want to check this shoe out, definitely check out Stray's site. They got a whole bunch of colorways that are dropping, including Antoine Dixon's versions. I think he has a blue one dropping really, really soon if it isn't already out. There's a green one in the same colorway as well, and a couple others that you can find, including this colorway as well. And if you can't find them at Stray's uh, site, I say then check out Zoomies because I don't know too many local shops that have them. But if your local shop does have them, definitely support your local shop first before you check out Zoomies and a couple other places and then if not check out zoomies because you do have a couple skaters that skate there there's a lot of skaters that skate there actually um what you do have a couple of skaters that work there there's a lot of skaters that work there so although it is a corporation that's in the mall i mean you're still kind of supporting skateboarding and they do still do best foot fours and stuff like that and your money going towards zoomies does kind of help out with the prize pool for that type of stuff and everything that they are putting out in zoomies but you know that's it this is the Stray Logan review. I'm going to be leaving them here at Caesar Chavez for whoever wants to come grab them and have this shoe for free. I would say that these are pretty lightly skated and they could definitely go for another month, two months, three months. So uh, whoever gets them is about to enjoy the hell out of these shoes. As always, if you enjoyed the shoe review, make sure you leave a like, comment what shoes you want to see me skate next or see... Um, like if you just want to see what shoes I'm working with or whatever, make sure you comment all that good stuff and as always make sure you make today your day it's jay skate day and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out